The countdown is on for a space mission that promises to put human beings back on the moon. Final preparations are being made for the launch of NASA's Heavy Duty Space Launch System, or SLS, and Orion's space capsule for a month-long mission to orbit the moon. Despite bad weather and even a lightning strike on Saturday, officials say the mission is set to blast off on Monday. Bottom line is we look really good. Um, no issues, no concerns um, or constraints from the, the lightning events at this point. The unmanned mission marks the debut of NASA's Artemis program, which seeks to return American astronauts to the moon by the year 2025. The SLS is the most powerful rocket NASA has ever assembled capable of producing nearly 4 million kilograms of thrust, a significant upgrade from the Saturn V rockets that sent the first men to the moon in the days of the Apollo program. Going forward to the moon is the right way to describe it because it's not your grandfather's Apollo program, okay? This is all new technology, new motivation, new opportunity, bringing all that technology to the moon is gonna be exciting. Years overdue and billions over budget, the moment is almost here for launch of Artemis 1, with more than 100,000 people expected to attend, all of them collectively holding their breath, crossing their fingers for a successful liftoff. The excitement from spectators at Cape Canaveral is palpable. Just going back to the moon, it's pretty cool. I, I didn't get to experience the first one that I remember, so I get to show my son and hopefully watch the next few and see them walk back on the moon. It's been 50 years since the last person stepped foot on the moon. Through Artemis, NASA hopes to set the foundations for deep space exploration and one day send human beings to Mars and worlds beyond. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Kennedy Space Center, Florida.